Hi QSAP team, it's Marianne Opes here, your wound nurse, and I just thought I would put together a couple of very short videos that could help you out if you can't remember like one of the little steps on how to place different wounds. So today we're going to do the incisional wound vac by the Molneca company. It's called Avance Solo. You generally place it in the operating room, sterilely, and then it can stay in place for 14 days, which is really nice. It's battery operated. It has a spare set of AA batteries, so it'll make that 14 day period. I put the dressing on my husband. He is a wonderful volunteer, kind of showing you the steps on how to put it together and also how to place it onto a human and a couple of little troubleshooting things. So I hope you guys enjoy it. This is the Molnica Von Solo. It's an incision management dressing. Comes in a kit with the dressing itself, the canister, the pump, a spare set of batteries, and I think this is a belt clip for the pump itself, and then some extra strips. So all this would be sterile when you get it in the operating room. These will be sterile. This will be sterile. I just had already opened this. So we're going to open each one of these packets. The next step is to attach the canister, which is this thing. It only orients one direction. There's a little hole right here that it, that goes into this little guy and you'll hear a snapping noise. It's important to always hear that little snapping noise. That means that you got it in the right spot. And then you want to put your tubing into this little side click. The next thing you want to do is put your batteries in. And so we'll put them in as the diagram shows and then put your little battery cover on. This is the self checks that you heard it just doing, it makes a funny noise and then lights will flash. Now your pump is ready to run. There's a couple of light indicators on this pump that will help you. This is that you have a leakage alarm and it'll illuminate underneath there. This is that you have a blockage alarm and it'll illuminate underneath there. And this is if your battery is getting low and they have, they actually send replacement batteries, which is kind of nice to start it and stop it is just pushing the middle button. That's all you really have to do. Any of these alarms go off. It also will make an audible noise. This is the clip I believe that goes on here. And then you can have it, the patient's belt. So that when they're walking around and stuff, they don't have to hold on to this little guy. So that's nice. And then spare batteries. The Dressings come in a sterile wrapper, and so the dressings are made of a small foam, and you just literally peel off the backing, and you want the incision to land right down the middle of this foam itself. So try to not get it on the edge or this edge, but right down the middle. And then the two beans hook together, together only in one direction. They have clamps on either side, and primarily you're just going to do the same thing as you did with the canister. You want to hear that click. To take them apart, you're going to pull, push that little side things in and then push them together again. Click. Don't be concerned that this isn't hooked anything. It's not supposed to be hooked anything. All right. So demonstration. When placing the dressing, it's got this one and two. So you're going to take off your number one. If you have a lot of hands, you can certainly take it all off, but this stuff wants to stick to itself. And so a lot of times especially if you're working alone, you might want to put one, then two. You want the incision right in the middle of the dressing. So you really have to watch it all the way down and try to stay away from any wrinkles. That's easier said than done, especially in some of the incisions you end up landing. Once you have it on, I always like to give a little bit of love, you know, like really put it down nicely. Obviously, you're going to want the patient's skin nice and dry before you put this on. And then you're going to start the pump. And so starting the pump is as easy as just pushing this button and holding it for two seconds. You can hear it and it'll give you those little flashes. It'll flash twice once it achieves its seal, just so that people know that it's working. So now this is fully deployed and you can see that it's nice and back down to him. And that's really all you need to do. But let's say you're worried about, like, I got a little wrinkle right here. That's when you can take out these extra strips. They tear apart nicely. They're all pre-made for you. And again, you're going to peel it on one. And then you can just add it all the way around. And it really does bolster that dressing. So if it's like somewhere like in the armpit or something along that line, you probably want to add this extra layer of protection. And you can do it all the way around. You can trim these 
nice little tape edges and you can go all the way around the dressing if you want. And that's it. And it can stay in place for 14 days. Okay, sometimes in, especially in the orthopedic injuries, you're gonna have an incision that comes up to an open wound followed by an incision. No problem, you can still utilize this. We have the standard black foam available and you can just literally put that in the middle of the wound and then you're gonna lay your incisional negative pressure system over the top. When you do this, it decreases the wear time of this dressing to just the three to five days rather than the 14 day wear time that it normally has. So just kind of keep that in mind. All right, QSAP team, I hope that that'll help you guys out. If you need more assistance, there's more videos on the complexwounds.com website that could help you if you get into a jam. So thanks for what you're doing. Bye-bye.